Hey there, it's Jim from Janku, and today I want to take a look at icon themes in GIMP 2.10. So I have my GIMP program open right now, and the way you can check out and change some of these icons inside of GIMP is if you go up to your main menu and you click Edit, and you go to your Preferences, there's a section underneath Interface, and these collapse, so if yours is collapsed, you can just expand it by clicking that icon on the left, and then there's the icon theme within that folder. So Currently, there are four system defaults in this version of GIMP, so right now we're using the color icons. And now if we were to select the legacy, you notice that the icons actually update in real time without having to restart your system. So these are the legacy icons, and they propagate throughout different panels with, throughout the system. And then there's a symbolic icon theme, so if you change that, it's kind of this one-tone icon. This looks pretty nice, actually, with this dark theme. And then there's the inverted symbolic icon theme. It's a little hard to distinguish with this dark theme that I have here, so you could actually come to this section on the left here called theme, and you could adjust the actual theme as well. So for instance, we could use the system theme, which is a light colored theme, and then those inverted icons look a lot better. Or you could use one of the light themes as well. So I'm gonna put it back to dark for now, and I'm gonna look at the icon themes. So these are pretty, pretty nice. I actually have gone through, uh, and at Janku we have created a separate theme for the icon. So I'm gonna to try to download that and then add that custom theme to this interface so you can see what that looks like. So let me pop over to my repository over here in Firefox. So this is the Janku repository and we made this icon theme called Flatty Cakes. You can access it at this URL on GitHub up here. And essentially this adds a whole set of new icons that is more flat based in design. These are the, the main tools that come with it but there's actually I think 600 to 700 icons throughout the whole pack that have been updated. So it should propagate throughout the whole system. So if you want to take a look at this theme, the way you would do it is you can come to your clone or download and you could download this zip and we're going to save the file. And if we come up here, we can actually grab our zip file and then we're just going to extract this and let's put it right on the desktop. Okay. So we have our Flatty Cakes master here. And then essentially the actual icon theme is within this folder. So some of this is just for the readme for the repository, but our actual icon theme is this Flatty Cakes icon theme here. So in order to add this to the GIMP system, we're gonna have to put it in a directory on our computer that is actually not writable by this user. So in order to copy these files over into that folder, we're gonna have to run it as a super admin. So the way we can do that is on our command line, we can just run the sudo hnautilus command, and that's going to open up uh, a new file browser, which is the nautilus browser on Ubuntu, and it's going to have us in there as a super user. So let's just run that real quick. And okay, so it opened up a new file browser. If I go to my file system, where it's, this icon theme is located on my computer, let me show you where you can find that in GIMP real quick. So again, if you're in your preferences, and you're in your icon theme, you can see that we're in the user share GIMP 2.0 icons folder for all these different icon themes. So let me go back to my super administrator window here and I'm going to go to user, I'm going to go to share, and then I'm gonna scroll down here all the way to the GIMP section and I'm gonna open up GIMP and then 2.0 and then icons. So you can see that we have these icons currently in there, so that's the system default. And if we open up our downloaded Flatty Cakes icon theme, we can now drag this over into that same folder. So now that that's there, we can actually come back to GIMP and we're gonna have to restart GIMP in order for that new icon theme to be loaded. So let's just close out of this window and let's come to GIMP and let's close out of it completely. And then let's just open the GIMP program one more time and now if we go to edit, preferences, icon theme, you'll see that we have this new Flatty Cakes icon theme here. So if we click this, and, and keep in mind it's gonna adjust over here on the left-hand side. So I'll click that, it adjusts. So this is the new icon theme and then all these icons are adjusted throughout the system. So uh, you can set the size down here if you want so you could have larger icons. I, I prefer the medium. And then just press okay at the bottom to apply that. And now your system is using the new icon set. I hope you like this icon set. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. If you do like the icons and you want to use them, 
definitely let us know by coming to the GitHub repository and giving this repo a star so we know that people actually like it. And maybe we'll create more content like this in the future. All right, thanks for watching and have fun using GIMP and we'll be in touch soon. Take care.